Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, thank you for finding me and I hope you enjoy what I see. I'm doing a mini series, which means I'm creating pieces on small canvases. I usually go large, but I'm reverting to going small and just seeing what I can create by having fun and exploring colour. So I'm creating pieces on eight by eight inch canvases and you've probably seen some of my creations I've already done. If you haven't, check them out. I've done various colours already. Yellow, pink, orange, red. So today brings me to green, one of my favourite colours. And I hope you'll have fun and enjoy watching with me. So let's see what we can create. Okay, so I've prepared my base. By that I mean I've painted the edges with an opaque colour just so I've got good coverage on the edges and then I've mixed my paints up all with just water so it's a paint and water combination perfect for a Dutch pour and I'm also going to add in a little bit of gold so I've got four different tones one for the base so this pale olive for the base followed by these three tones I will layer up and a dash of gold. Let's go. Okay, so all about greens, one of my favorite colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to prepare the base and I'm just going to use my palette knife to spread the paint out evenly on the base of the canvas. Don't forget, you can always add white just to make that color a little bit lighter and then that way you can almost create different tones of green using just one main dark green color okay so I think that's my base covered so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of those air bubbles right now for the exciting part what I'm going to do is I'm going to puddle puddle the paints just here in the middle. So when I layer them up, I've got my three tones and my base color and a touch of gold. So I think first of all, I'll do this one. So three puddles in the middle. One, two, three. Well, kind of in the middle. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use this darker green. This is a transparent, so I'm just going to use this one on top. Oh, lovely rich colour. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this green, and then I'm going to add the gold on top. The gold is iridescent, um, iridescent gold by Pebio, and I know through experience this is going to give me a really nice metallic shimmer on the piece. And because I'm using gold and it's metallic, and I'm using different brands of paint, I'm hoping that that's going to help me create cells. So there's no cell activator in this; it's all natural. Um, I'm just going to use. Ooh, which one should I use? Maybe I'm just gonna, just gonna go like that. There we go. Over the top. I'm gonna put some more of the base color round the edge. That helps with the flow of the paint. Okay, let's pop those air bubbles. So what I'm going to do is with my hairdryer, I'm going to blow this section over. I'm going to stop and pause and just see what it kind of creates. And then the plan is to blow out each side. Okay. When I, I keep, I keep getting asked this question, so I'll address that here. With the, with the blow dryer, I'm using 
um, just a standard blow dryer. I've got a piece on the end that basically softens that blow. So that's the diffuser. And then I always use the cool setting. So that's that's kind of my hair dryer setup. Oh. Yummy. Okay, so I do have some cells here. I'm going to lose those because I do want to blow up, up and out each side. I do love this gold here. I wonder if I should keep that. I wonder if I should keep it like that or blow it off the edge. This is when I wish it was really interactive and you guys could tell me now. <laughs> because I'll hear some of you go, no, leave it, leave it. But yeah, I don't know. Ooh, decisions. did want a little bit more negative space if I'm honest so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this over that way did have a lot of paint on that canvas. Okay. Just turn that around. Mm. Oh, I do love how the, the gold is helping that pop. Just going to torch again just to see if I can get any further cells. Oh, I do love green. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to take you in for a close-up. Go. So, wet version look. Don't you just love how that gold pops through and how all those different tones of green have merged? I love this area just here. You can see all those different tones of green. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll take you in for a close up. Okay, so you know by now green is one of my favourite colours and look at how that gold just pops through. I love that there, just there. I hope you can also see that shine and shimmer. And I love all the other, I love that lighter green there, how it kind of works really well with that dark green and some of the the finer details all green what do you think guys let me know in the comments below i'd really love to hear your feedback thank you so much for joining me and i hope to see you again soon take care bye